Hi, I'm John McGuire, founder and director of the Kinesiology Institute. Thank you for tuning into this video. And be sure to subscribe to our channel and click the bell to be notified when we post new content. And go to kinesiologyinstitute.com to learn more about applied kinesiology. Let's have first any aches or pains that you have in your body. Uh, yes, I have a little pain on my neck. Okay, a little pain in your neck. Mm -hmm. Okay. And have you had any injuries? Uh, I've had an injury on my knee before okay. in the past few years. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what we do is we do manual muscle testing. That's the biofeedback system of the body. So she meets my pressure and I push and she holds it in place as I push. Ready and hold. Great. Now what I do then is I can do something that would switch off the muscle to see what it looks like when it's off. One way of doing that is spindle selling or pinching in the belly of the muscle. So I'm just going to pinch right here in the belly of this muscle and hold again. And it switches off. So now I know I'm getting an accurate information, piece of information. So what I can do is we call it circuit locating. I can touch her neck and see what happens here. Hold as I push. Oh, and it's going weak. Okay. And then here, going weak. Now there are things I can use, which we teach in the course, called finger modes or hand modes, where when I touch the thumb to the index finger, it will signify if I need to do a structural technique. And I'll do it with this hand here. Okay, and so we go back and I'm touching the neck and it goes strong. So that says we need to do some structural balancing. So we'll be demonstrating that. Here would be nutritional. So if I touch the neck again and it goes strong, it didn't, so that would be something of diet addition, deletion, or perhaps other things we need to do with supplements or things like that. Now when I touch here, this is the ring finger. That would be emotional. That didn't change, so it's not due to emotional stress. And this is electrical, which is like acupressure points, and that changes. Okay, so what would you say your, your stress is in your neck right now? Mm, Level of 10 okay. being worse, one none at all. Like a Six, seven. Okay, six yeah. or seven. Okay. So I like to get a subjective unit of, of her distress so we can see it. we're making progress at the end from the six or seven. Okay, so structural, I'm going to touch again here and see uh, balancing neck muscles would be helpful. It says yes. So we can actually test the neck muscles. And then I can touch, because acupressure points came up with the electrical, I can touch a specific acupressure here, point here and hold as I push. That's gallbladder one. Now I can touch some other reflexes here. Two, three. Yeah, so it looks like gallbladder one, which by the way, a strong muscle goes weak when you touch an acupressure point that needs to be worked. And let's touch over here too. And both of those show. So now I know which acupressure points to do. By the way, gallbladder one, it's at the top of your neck. If you um, find like right under the skull on the outside, that's gallbladder one. I mean, uh, gallbladder 20 is what I'm saying. It's C1. <laughs> so it's a level of C1, and gallbladder 20 is also a point that's often helpful for migraine headaches for you that asked earlier. Okay, so we know we're going to do that point. We also need to test the neck muscles. Now, the neck muscles are also related to the sinuses because every muscle relates to an organ as well as a meridian. So let's have you bring your chin to your chest. And I'm going to push at this line of drive. Ready and hold as I push. Oh, and that's, see how that's weak? Mm -hmm. Let's go at this angle. Hold again. That's going. And I'm just pushing very lightly, folks. And I'm going to push back again. So those are all weak. And then here, hold as I push. And hold as I push. OK, so we know we have a structural imbalance. So we're going to do some reflexes there. In fact, we can touch these reflexes and hold as I push here. <laughs> and I'm touching the switches for the neck muscles, which happen to be here. I can also touch the, um, the attachment points on the ribs and see if those are showing. They were not. And I'm going to touch back here. So those are the origin insertion points. So in our structural class, we show you how to go through and find all these reflexes. So when you look on the chart here, you'll see the neck muscles. It shows them right here, and then there's ones in the back. And so it shows how to test the muscle, which is right over here. And then also it shows reflexes for the muscles. 
like right in here, these are called neurolymphatic points, which actually activate lymphatic flow within the muscle, as well as it also helps the organ of the stomach. Uh, but in this case, it's actually the sinuses. It shows up here, um, the various nutrients for it. So all this information, it's really helpful to have it all in one place. So let's go here and I'll just rub firmly on these points. Are these tender at all? They are. They are? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now there's also other switches I'm going to do. So these are firm massage points. They're called neurolymphatic points. Let me know if I'm going too deep. Is that? No, it's fine. It's okay? Mm -hmm. They're just really tender. <laughs> yeah. Now the fact that they're really tender shows me they're out of balance. And you could work these about two to three times a day for 20 seconds. And over time, the, the tenderness will go away. And sometimes it'll go away even as I'm working on it to show we've switched it back on. So the greater the tenderness, the greater the extent of the blockage. Now the blockage is due to various stressors. It could be, you know, any stressor, like not sleeping enough. Have you had times where you're just working too many hours and not sleeping enough? So little factors like um, you have some structural imbalance too. I think you said that something's going on with your neck where it doesn't have the normal curve. Yeah, I went to a chiropractor recently and um, my neck is too straight. Mm -hmm. So they said my C1 and C2 are very close to my skull. Okay. Um, it's like 13 millimeters too forward. So. I see. So let's see what happens. As we balance the neck muscles, that actually can bring that back into structural balance. Because Dr. Godar used to say, bones go out of place because muscles aren't balanced holding them in place. Mm -hmm. So that's the reason. In fact, he said he developed a lot of what he developed applied kinesiology for was so people would hold their adjustments longer, being a chiropractor that he was. But it's developed so much further into all these areas, including energy psychology. So I'm rubbing the, the reflexes in the back. Now I'm going to rub these reflexes here for the acupressure point that showed that seems to be connected to this. Is there tenderness in here at all? Yeah. OK. All right. Now, another factor, they call it challenging. You can take a strong muscle and do something to see if it makes the body go weak. I'm going to push down on her head and see what happens and see how it goes weak. Hold. Now, so what I can do is a traction technique because she said, oh, they're too close together. So I'm going to get behind the occiput here and I'm just going to pull her, make her a couple inches taller. In fact, we have a device called the rack that we can put you in. <laughs> okay, so we got the neurolymphatics. There's also neurovascular points right here in the ramus of the jaw. So I touch these very lightly. And see, and I tug up. So this is energetically switching her on. Okay, let's see what we've got now. I'm going to... Um, challenge the head again. That's now strong. And I see if these points are clear. That's good. And that's good. Now I'm going to touch the neck muscles themselves. They're testing strong. And now let's have you bring the head back up, chin to chest. I'm going to push and see what happens. Wow, that's locking in. Can you feel the difference? Yes. I'm pushing pretty hard, much harder than I was before, too. And it's really holding. Before it was just, she could hardly even lift it up. Okay. So. See, has the pain reduced? You said we were about a seven before? I'm at like a four. A little four? Three or four. Three or four? It's yeah, a lot lower than yeah. when we started. Great. That's good. Okay, good. So let's, let's go some more. Um, now, I want, there's a technique called the injury recall technique. This is, um, you can even watch this on our website. We'll show you the website um, where I go further into it, but I'll demonstrate it right now for our structural kinesiology course. And in this, in this case, um, we can see if there's some various parts of your body, because I know you mentioned you had a knee injury at one time. So let's have you arch your head back, make sure it's strong. Okay. Then I'm going to touch the neck and see if that shows change. It doesn't. Okay. Let's check other areas. Shoulder. Oh, the shoulder's showing. Okay. Let's check here. Elbow. No. Wrist. No. Hip. Yes, low back. Yeah, so there's definitely some things going on here. Oh, wow. 
Okay, so we got the, the knee, uh, hip, low back, and shoulder are all showing. This is a way to see if there is a factor where um, energy is blocked in these joints. And um, they all can affect. Now the neck, by the way, has also an effect with the lower back. So the, the, the lumbar vertebra and the cervical vertebra have an, an interlink. So when there's something out in the lower back, that can cause problems in the neck. So what we're going to do is we're going to have you touch the lower back. So you're going to hold your, your right there. And see, when she touches that, she's strong. But when she arches the head back, it goes weak. Now, what that means is you relax the head. You keep touching the low back. What that means is there's a connection between the cerebellum and that area of the body that's storing energy blockage and a neurological factor. And by bringing the head up like this, you just relax. And I'm just bringing the head up. So I'm moving the occiput on the, on the C1, first cervical vertebra, and on the occiput, OK? Now let's have you touch the hip where it was testing. And I'll do this one now. And hold. Yeah, relax. Breathe deeply. And we're clearing that energy there. OK, now you can use this hand and touch the shoulder here. The other hand can relax. And OK, breathing deeply. Now bring your left knee up so you can touch it. And then I do this again, breathing deeply. OK. And then let's see what we got now. We're going to have you, I'll touch the knee for you. You arch the head back. That's good. And here, that's clear. Here, that's clear. And that's clear. OK. See if there's any further reduction in the pain in the neck. About a two. Oh, so yeah. further. <laughs> yeah. Wow. So there's still a, a little awareness, but considerably yeah. less from mm -hmm. where you were before. OK. Now, um, we can go through and check other muscles or other factors. So let's check. There's a, a tip of, uh, there's points you can find out if there's a TMJ involvement. So I'm going to touch the tip of her chin and see if there's, oh, look, there's some stuff going on there. So I'm going to have you, I'm just going to touch the TMJ on this side. You can straighten your head again. OK. All right. And now open your mouth. OK. And chew. OK. And that's going. And then um, open as wide as you can. OK. So chewing is doing that. OK. I'm going to show you guys a, a shortcut technique so you can learn how to do this. Now, um, OK. Here, let's open your mouth again and chew. OK. So chewing is doing it. OK. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get um, right here back on GV, I mean, uh, yeah, governing, I'm not GV, but <laughs> on gallbladder point, and that gallbladder one, and I'm going to put my hands into your jaw and just move your jaw around and see how that feels. Mm, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, you have some TMJ that could be inf influencing this neck as well. Yeah, and so you can do that at home to help clear it. And I'm going to do a couple other things here. There's a temporalis muscle that can be involved. So I'm going to spindle cell it. Now spindle selling, it's a nerve uh, con connection where you're putting your fingers right in the belly of a muscle and pinching it together to tell it to relax. OK, so that's what I'm doing here. I'm pinching in the belly of the muscle. And going way the fibers run. So temporalis muscle is a fan-shaped muscle coming up from the TMJ, the temporal mandibular joint. And it's one that is often out when people are chewing. So let's see how we do now. There's also some neurolymphatic points for the, tempor the uh, temporal mandibular joint. And those are between the third, first, second, and third rib space. So I'm getting in here between the ribs right off the sternum. East tender at all? Mm -hmm. OK. Great. And I'll work some points back here for that. So this is, for you that are massage therapists, it's a way to 
find exactly where you need to work and it gets you so much it's a way to work smarter not harder <laughs> to get faster and better results so you're going to touch here again that's good touching the jaw here chew that's better and here great any further reduction in your neck pain it's pretty much gone to it's pretty much gone to be honest well i want you to be honest so yeah. isn't that great it feels good yeah good i didn't realize how tender my yeah team g was either yeah so. see so yeah this is a great way we did the injury recall we balanced your neck muscles and we um cleared some tmj going on there and we could go on and on but for sake of of demonstration we got rid of the pain which is the main ob objective here and we know some things you can do at home so that's where you can do that technique and you guys can try this at home put your fingers back say in your uh, gallbladder 20 that point we we're showing earlier and then get your thumbs right in the jaw joint and move it back and forth like this mine's not too bad but yours was really tender huh and that can often be self-correction for TMJ and um, so I think we're good. You feel better? Yes. Great. Huh? I do. Good. Glad to do. Uh, yeah. Glad we helped you out.